Welcome to Lisa's Ladle, where we're cooking big in small places. Hi guys, welcome to Lisa's Ladle. I am really excited about today's recipe. You guys are gonna love this dish. It's a dessert called grape salad. I know it doesn't sound fancy or schmancy, but it's so tasty. If you like cheesecake, you're gonna love this recipe. And who doesn't like cheesecake? Yes, I'm looking at you, Miss Sandy. Don't like cheesecake? That's like crazy talk. But it's a cheesecake filling with grapes, and it's delicious. It's one of David's favorite desserts. <sighs> All right, guys, let's get our aprons and start cooking. Today, we are going to use eight ounces of Philadelphia cream cheese eight ounces of sour cream it's one teaspoon of vanilla extract half a cup of white sugar and one cup of brown sugar and a cup of pecans the pecans are the topping which you can alternate any any nut that you like walnuts pistachios or you don't even have to put nuts on it if you're allergic to nuts or don't care for nuts ladle tip here we go want your Philadelphia cream cheese soft. You can need help knead it with your warm hands. And even if it is a little softened before you open it, you can knead it. So Philadelphia cream cheese, our sour cream. your white sugar and your vanilla extract. Ladle tip number two. Mix this by hand. You're going to be tempted to do it with a mixer. I've tried it both ways. You can do it with a mixer but it gets really runny and then once you refrigerate this it, the condensation and everything makes it just a little too runny. You just really want to mix that cream cheese and sour cream and sugar till you get a silky smooth mixture. No lumps. If your cream cheese is too cold, it will be a little lumpy. So we're looking for the silky smooth cake batter looking cream. Once you get that texture, then you're going to slowly add your grapes. Another ladle tip. Lots of ladle tips today, guys. I hope you're taking notes because this is, I've made this recipe a hundred times and this is what I found makes the texture and the taste turn out the best. So the grapes, I rinsed and patted dry and they're nice and dry. So because if your grapes are freshly rinsed, or wet, they it will make the cream cheese mixture too wet, too runny. We don't want runny, we want cream cheese. So add a little bit of grape, and you guessed it, mix that cream cheese all over those grapes. Add some more grapes. Using about a pound of red grapes, but I have tried it with black, black grapes and red grapes and green grapes, and it all tastes really good. Once we get this cream cheese coating all over our grapes, then you want to add it to your bowl. You can pretty much use any dish that you would like. I'm using a nine by nine glass casserole dish is what I have today. This recipe is so easy to double. If you have a party or a sundowner that's coming up, you can easily take two packs of sour cream, two packs of cream cheese, add some extra vanilla, add another half a cup of sugar, 
just double everything and you get a part party size dish. Spread it all out. the mustard. Add your brown sugar on top. I like to just sprinkle it and what this is going to do is it's basically going to caramelize or crystallize or yummy eyes. Is that a word? I think I make up words. And then add your pecans. I know you're not going to believe this, but there is your dessert. If you have a potluck, picnic, sundowner, family stopping by, you can make this so quick and easy. You want to chill it at least two, three hours, possibly four. I like to do overnight, but if you need something quick, easy, so easy to make. And guys, I can't tell you enough how delicious this is. This is so yummy. Miss Sandy, you got to try it. Just try it. How easy was that recipe to put together? It took us about 15 minutes. It serves 15 or more, just depending on how big you want to make those portions. And it's so delicious. And uh, I'd like to invite you to hit like if you like this recipe or you like this video. If you want more, hit like. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe so you don't miss future uh, recipes and cooking, learning, and tips and all that good stuff. So um, for my ladle to yours, guys, as always, I'll be cooking until I see you next time. Bye.